Now, still to come, some real bonus coverage from you from the World Championship. The women's competition is always the highlight of figure skating. This year, the U.S. with a very strong team here on hand in Slovenia and a budding great rivalry as well between Asian stars Japan's Mao Asada and Korea's Yunnan Kim. Now, Asada took last year's World Juniors title. Kim finished a close second. The two women back at it again this year, both of them looking as though they'll battle for a long time to come. And the crowd really anticipating this showdown. Japan, Mao Isana up first. Very acrobatic. She couldn't skate at the Olympics because of age restrictions. Otherwise, she might have qualified. Well, otherwise, she did qualify, but she, and she has beat, she has beaten all of the top skaters at the Olympic Games in the past year. Um, we're here starting out with a triple axle, double loop combination, which I don't remember anyone doing in a short program a triple axel in a women's event. Um, she, yet, look at her arms. She can do those tricks, but yet she's very graceful at the same time. Nice triplets, real strong. She has the movements. It just looks like it sort of stops when it comes to her face and her head. Um, it's just a little bit of maybe immaturity. She's 16. Where all that's coming from. Yeah. From Nagoya, Japan. Very slow spin there. It's amazing how fast she can spin in the air, yet on the ground it's a little slower. Listen to the people she finished ahead of in the year past. Arina Slutskaya. Of course, you know what she did at the Olympics from Russia. Sasha Cohen finished behind her. And uh, Slutskaya and... Shizuka Arakawa finished behind her as well in the past year of competition. Who is now the Olympic champion. From Japan as well. She's nice ease about her skating. She's very fluid from one movement to the next. A little bit sort of lacking of energy here, though. It seems it's almost so soft that you don't feel the strength interesting spin it looks almost her arm right around her neck like that it looks so uncomfortable but yet it was very pretty again because of the new age restriction she could not compete at the olympic games to imagine that we'll be seeing her in 2010 in Vancouver. He is already a world junior champion a year ago. A solid double axle at the end of the program. Combination spin. Inside edge on that camel spin. Very nice. She didn't lose any speed on it. She's been practicing the ever-so-rare quadruple loop, and we may see that from her in the long program, we are told. But for now, Malasada wrapping up in the short program, and so many uh, craning in their necks to get a look at this young champion. Here, the triple axle double loop combination didn't have enough speed or flow out of that to do a loop. She did a single loop out of that. Mal Asada, 56-10 in the short program. Well, that'd be good enough for the lead. And we talked about the great head-to-head -head international competition now. Here is Yuna Kim of South Korea, who is the Korean national champion. She finished to Mal Asada at the World Juniors just a year ago. Her skating seems a little more mature here. A triple flip double toe loop combination very strong landing where Mao had the miss on her triple axle she did a single loop combination so wasn't completed with a with a double spiral sequence changing of edge and position without bringing her leg down it's difficult a lot more difficult than it looks they make it look so easy the great influx now of uh, Asian skaters. We saw the Chinese team well represented 
at the Olympics and, of course, uh, being women's champion from Japan. And here's Yoon Ong Kim now, the great hope of South Korea. She has a, little, a lot more enthusiasm than Mao did in her short program with the movements to the music the, and her facial expressions. A little bit more of a well-rounded package, I think, looking at her. Nice, strong triplets. That was very high. She looks really excited about that. A lot of flair in this footwork. Remember, we're showing you uh, action from the ladies' junior championship short program. We'll be showing you the entire women's long program competition in a future edition of Nancy Kerrigan's World of Skating. Look at that positioning comes back here. She gets so far back. It just looks painful to me, but beautiful position. And she just has so much flair besides all the tricks. She's got a little more... It could be the music and the positions, but she really skates to the music well. The nice double axle there, smile on her face. To me, that adds so much of character and confidence. She looks more confident on the ice with having that enthusiasm with the music interpretation. Nice, strong, fast spin at the end. And there you have it, the first round showdown again on the world stage between Mao Osada of Japan and this, Yu Na Kim. First round in the short skate. We'll be showing you the long program again in a future date. Your triple flip, double tulu combination. Very well done. Really strong in double axle here, right near the end of her program. Good height, interesting arm position on the landing. Just giving it a variation. Excellent scores. Yuna Kim will lead Mal Osada after the short program, pending the long still to come in a future edition here, Nancy Kerrigan's World of Skating. The World Junior Championships are a great place to see the future stars of figure skating. This event has everything. Talent, drama, emotion, and winning an event like this can give an athlete the confidence to take their skating to a higher level. Congratulations to Takahiko Kazuka for taking first in the men's competition, and to Julia Vlasov and Drew Meekins for their come-from-behind victory in pairs. In our next show, we'll take you back to the World Junior championships for the women's long program. As usual, the U.S. fielded a talented team that included Alyssa Sisney and Christine Zukowski. So be sure to tune in for part two of our coverage of the World Junior Championships. For CN8, I'm Nancy Kerrigan. Thanks. See you next time.